Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the Recon NG series. Now in this video, we're going to be wrapping up with the scanning uh, and we've looked at the syntax, we've looked at performing different types of scans and finally now it's probably one of the most important scans and that is scanning for the uh, operating system uh, versions and the, uh, the, the services that are running behind a certain domain or a website, all right? So this is very important information that a lot of you guys really find difficult in the information gathering um, sector or uh, stage because it's usually scattered around in a in a manner that is very difficult to understand and obviously to a, a manner that is very difficult to document. Uh, that being said, Recon NG is a fantastic uh, framework for performing information gathering, and I'll show you that. I'll show you why in a second. So we will be using the built with module or the built with API that will allow us to find uh, out what. A certain website or a host is built with. So uh, I know that's pretty self-explanatory, but we looked at it when we are talking about uh, API keys. So you just, uh, I will post the link in the description. You can create an account and they'll give you, uh, they'll give you your API key. So to get your API key, just go into resources in API. All right. And uh, as you can see, uh, usually they have a domain API and they have a free API. So you can choose to use the free one and then you can see your free API uh, rate is limited to one request per second. So that's pretty much okay. You then have the domain API, which is going to be the same as your free API, uh, but this will be effective for domains. So you can see that they give you uh, 50 free credits and they refresh it every day. I've uh, currently used two because I was testing the, the API key. All right, so just copy, uh, you can just copy your API key. Obviously, I'll refresh my API key. Uh, so um, make sure it and in Recon NG, you can see I'm in Recon NG and I'm just going to stay in my default workspace now because it really doesn't matter. So if I show my keys, you can see that I have added the built with API keys. So to do that is really very simple. Keys add and you select the uh, the API key built with API and you paste in the API over there and hit enter and you should be good. All right. So that is how to add the built with API key. Now, uh, as you can see, I don't have any domains. And uh, if I show my hosts here, sorry. If I show you my hosts, I have a couple of them. These were the subdomains, I believe, uh, for bbc.com. All right, so uh, nothing important there. And you can see, uh, yeah, there, there is nothing important there. And we have not resolved anything. This is because we are in the default workspace. So what we want to do now is we want to use built with, all right? So that can be done by typing in use built with and hit enter. And if you just show the information in regards to this module, you can see uh, that there isn't much you can change. The only thing you can change are the show all, which will show all results. And you have the, sh uh, you have the source. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I have a website that I haven't been using, and that is the finer coder website. So I'm going to add that domain. So I'm going to say, um, actually, hold on. Domains add. Uh, actually, sorry, add uh, domains. I actually get confused with these. Syn Whoops, sorry about that. Add domains. So the website was the finercoder.com website. So uh, if you guys were already following me, this was a project that I had in the works, but I decided not to go uh, into that because I wanted everything to fit around Hackersploit. So I'm going to hit enter. And uh, now we can essentially just hit run because as you can see, uh, I only have one domain, so I'll target this domain. Let's see what services are running me. I did now, of course, I hope it'll give me some information. If it doesn't, we'll use another website. All right. So, uh, now all I have to do is hit run and it's going to start the scan on finercoder.com and uh, voila, you can see it did that extremely fast. And, uh, this website uh, is based on WordPress. So you can see it's going to give you an example of all, uh, the libraries and the plugins that exist. So there you are, you have jQuery running, you have, uh, the, it'll give you information in regards to the fonts, you have uh, the Google hosted libraries, which is uh, also important, uh, Facebook sharer, you have the Google font API, Apache, so you can see the web server is Apache, so you get an idea of what's running. Um, let's see what, uh, yeah, the bootstrap CDN, so obviously you get an idea uh, that this website is using um, a content delivery network for bootstrap, so it is using bootstrap. We have PHP, um, let's see, you have your IAX libraries, nothing important there, PHP 7, 
the jQuery cookies, WordPress, uh, and there you are. You have your WordPress uh, version 4.8, and uh, you can go ahead and look at the change log there. Uh, so it'll not give you the exact version for some reason, uh, and you have the theme that it's using. Uh, you have uh, the different WordPress uh, plugins. I'm not too sure that they've displayed the exact ones, uh, but you get the idea. The idea is that you can get immediately what's running behind this website in, in almost a second on any website with the built with API. So this is a really powerful feature. You can see that I've also had BuddyPress installed here, uh, the all-in-one SEO pack. Uh, so again, you get an, a really good idea of what exactly is running behind this system. So the reason why I used my website for this is because this type of information is illegal to disclose if it's not your website, all right? When I talk about, when I say this type of information, I'm uh, talking in regards to uh, what's r running behind a system. So you get the idea. So there's a lot of uh, stuff that it's detected. So you can see it, uh, it got the, uh, the lift LMS, um, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that was behind this, uh, you know, more than I even remember. So this is always, uh, it's a good thing that I actually saw this. So I'll take a look at it and probably just, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to renew this domain, but hey, whatever. Um, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Now we are almost done with Recon NG. The only video left is the video in regards to generating reports with the results you've gathered. So that's going to be the next video and we can finally wrap up Recon NG. Uh, you know, Recon NG is a fantastic framework that uh, I've been able, uh, that I've been able to cover and it's really, really awesome for information gathering. That being said, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section or on my social networks. If you enjoyed this video or found value in it, please leave a like down below and uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video.